A new study has come out that's really a stunning testament to just how clever and determined humans can be. It's about Stonehenge and how it all came together. Yeah, so Stonehenge is the monolithic monument in Wales. It was built some 5,000 years ago. Its exact use is not known, but it's aligned in such a way that the rising sun of the summer solstice shines through one rocky arch, and the setting sun of the winter solstice shines through another. That combined with the complete lack of discoveries, like plates or clothing, that tells researchers this was a place people gathered at cultural moments in life, not a place where they lived year-round. And while we may never know what these people built Stonehenge for, we are learning more about what they built it from. It's long been known that most of the stones came from around Wales, but researchers wanted to know more about one specific piece of the monument. So experts today call it the Altar Stone. It's a six-ton slab right in the middle of the site. Right now, though, it's covered by other rocks. So without chipping off any new pieces, researchers examined some fragments that had previously been taken from that stone. They examined its structure under a microscope, and they learned something quite shocking. According to results of a study published in Nature, this stone, which weighs roughly as much as four RAV4s, came from a quarry at the very tip of Scotland. What? That's 460 miles that is 16-foot slab of rock traveled from. 5,000 years ago, keep in mind. So researchers are highly confident that this is the only place the stone could have come from. It's called the Orcadian Basin, and researchers say that there's no way this could have been moved by natural forces like the re, uh, re, re, retracting excuse me, ice caps. That would have taken it in a different direction. So it has to have been moved by humans. Did they do it using an overland transport route? Well, even today, going overland from Scotland to southern Britain is quite an arduous journey down the motorway. Back then, no motorways, of course. The UK was heavily forested. It was a, a temperate rainforest. There were mountain ranges, the Pennines, the Grampians, the Cairngorms, the Southern Uplands, and rivers. These combined would have been formidable barriers for any movement, let alone with a six-ton boulder that you're carrying, which for us left the option of marine transport as a feasible, really credible option for this transport south. So the scientists who carried out the study say this also backs up previous studies that found cultural connections linking broad parts of the islands we now think of as the United Kingdom. This kind of an achievement is stunning, but experts say it's a mistake to think that a community of people 5,000 years ago could not have transported this stone. Humans like you and me have been around for 100,000 years. Do I think we underestimate them? Well, they were us. And they probably had people that we would call engineers and mathematicians and astronomers. And perhaps they had people that moved, moved rock for a living. So they were us, but they just didn't have power tools. So it really does speak to what you were saying before of we got some answers. Now there's a lot more questions about yeah. how that part of it came about. Yeah. You know, I wish we could ask them because it would be hilarious if they were like, I don't know why you guys are making such a big deal out of this. We just wanted to move our rocks out of our yard. Right. Like, yeah, we didn't want them anymore. The answers would be so helpful all the time. Great.